we have got to face as communities, but now very importantly, it is discussions that we should be having. The fact that we are opening up as a community now begin to talk about certain things that sometimes even feels like taboo, I think says a lot about where we are at as a community in terms of development. Many women, some men, have suffered for years and years and they didn't have any let out. This is an opportunity for you to have that kind of conversation, that we can have this kind of open conversation in a decent manner with the ultimate objective of finding a solution. It's not just talking about it, we let it out, but then we also try to find solution, both from a faith perspective, but also from a secular setting perspective. And thank you very much, 21 people so far, and I can see many more people joining in. I was just allowing a little bit of time to allow people to sort of come in, and then we start internalizing this debate. Probably as a food of thought, someone is already sent in a very powerful message, uh, and I'd like to share it uh, with you. Um, I'd like to share the, the, the message with you. It is a very powerful message. Well, that's what I felt. Powerful message that probably could guide our kind of conversation today. Uh, this is, remains anonymous and therefore I will not uh, say who their name is. I say, I used to identify myself as a single married mom for many years. And I didn't even think it was a well-known term. Believe me, it's the most lonely place to be especially if the mom and the children are living under the same roof with the father of the children who is derelict in his parental and financial duties. Wallahi, I can write a whole book about this and the negative impact the situation has on the physical, mental, intellectual, and emotional well-being of the mom and the kids. I can go on and on, but I'll stop here. Thank you very much to the team for addressing this very sad and unfortunate situation some moms find themselves in it. It has left our children with all sorts of issues that become barriers for them fulfilling their potential well into adulthood. Well, some of the issues that we talk about, these are the conversations, no barriers, as long as we keep it within distance. All idea is not just flashing it out there, although sometimes it helps to flash it out, but it is very important that we can have a conversation about it. I'd like to hear your personal experiences. So far, you've had a very powerful story. I'll repeat it simply because there are more people that are joining that might have missed out on that. A very personal story who says, uh, the person anonymous, I used to identify myself as a single married mom for many years, and I didn't even think it was a well-known term. Believe me, it's the most lonely place to be, especially if the mom and the children are living under the same roof with the father of the children who is derelict in his parental and financial duties. Wallahi, I can write a whole book about this and the negative impact the situation has had on the physical, mental, intellectual, and emotional well-being of the mom and the kids. I can go on, on, but I'll stop here. Thank you very much, Tim, for addressing this very sad and unfortunate situation some moms find themselves in. It has left our children with all sorts of issues that become barriers to them fulfilling their potential well into adulthood. Well, that is food for thought, and we can actually have uh, continue having this conversation. As you know, here is no barriers. The moment you join, be ready to talk. Maybe it's not about you. Maybe it's about someone that you know. We could share that experience. You never know. It might actually become the basis of a future that might be better for some. Probably a situation that we correct much faster would help at least to sort of alleviate a situation. If there are hundreds, hundreds of women out there who feel a similar situation, who share this kind of experience, then maybe it is reason for us to have the conversation. Remember, you are live on 75 Derby Radio. The program is, is come. Let's talk with me, Kasim Kaira, your global conversation. And we are live as well on Uma Connected and uh, via Zoom and on YouTube as well. But you can also text into the program and let's have a conversation about this. Isma, if you don't mind, if you could just get us with our blab just to get us talking, let's have that particular video to just paint the picture and get us thinking. Thank you very much. 
And while I wait for Isma to set that up, I see already a message in the chat room uh, from Lisa who says, I didn't realize. Oh, the message just disappeared. I'll just grab it quickly while Isma is getting ready. But a message in the cool. chat room. And today is the first day that... Hold on, hold on, Isma. Uh, I'll just read that message quickly before we roll into it. And it's from Lisa who says, I didn't realize how common single married parent parenting was. Well, I think it's good you're here. We will have that kind of conversation. It will be good to hear your particular experience, if any. Thank you very much for joining us. And let's watch a little bit on the single mother who is married doing the school run with the girls all by myself. I'm so tired. Is it like an old Jamaican thing, Mom, to put the um, tissue on the yes, forehead? Yes, it, it is. For hiccups? Yep. And you, you hear her hiccup anymore? Is she hiccuping? Did it stop? Oh, Did it stop? Mama, it's Nana's a magician. <laughs> second day of school and today is the first day that I'm doing the school run with the girls all by myself. I'm so tired. Peanut literally gave me like one hour of sleep last night. Almost one hour a lot? No honey, one hour is not a lot. So I didn't really get much sleep but gotta find the energy, right mamas? You're too young for the road mamas, you're too young for the road. Daddy goes to work very early in the morning so I gotta get the girls up and ready. Okay. This is the mom life. I'm super exhausted. So I'm gonna go feed Peanut, get the girls' lunches out and ready, and then we gotta hit the road. Everyone pack up their lunch. Good morning, mamas. Hey. Hey. Are you going to school too? Ever, you did such a good job packing up your backpack, mamas. I'm so proud of you. So I'm waiting um, for Peanut to finish her breakfast. And then I'm going to be getting her ready and in her car seat. The girls are pretty much done and ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah, she wants to. Thank you, Leah. All right, you guys ready to go? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Pina is ready to go. And my babies are off to school. Have a good day, guys. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I'm so exhausted. I think me and husband got maybe three or four hours of sleep last night. Little baby Peanut was just wide awake, living her best life in the nighttime like she was at a live nightclub. <laughs> and her oldest sissy is here comforting her. I'm about to get up and go and take a shower and do my skincare routine to try to wake my mind up. I need to get up and get my day started. I wanted to do a photo shoot today with the girls. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do that. Little mama has hiccups. Look at your belly. <laughs> you got hiccups, mamas. And she's already changing so much, guys. Little so Peanut big. is two weeks, two weeks old, Squish. 
two weeks ago you were watching your mommy give birth oh, I have trauma. to a little peanut. You're traumatized? I'm reading it. I can see it in my mind right now and I'm not happy. <laughs> So Squish was on FaceTime with my mom and my sister when I was giving birth to Little Peanut and she says that she is traumatized and <laughs> Lay was actually watching the labor and delivery video when I was editing it in the office the other day and she's like, Mama, I don't want to have babies, I'm traumatized. I'm like, <laughs> that actually might be a good thing for now. Daddy is downstairs, what's Daddy doing? Making breakfast? He's making, um, what is it called again? Dumplings. 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 Daddy's downstairs making dumplings. I need to go and get some breakfast. You think she's grown since we brought her home from the hospital? A lot. Like she was like this tiny when you first brought her home. I know. In two weeks, all that titty milk, Mama. Is you drinking too much titty milk? She was like milk. six ounces. She was six pounds. Six pounds. She was six pounds eight ounces when she was born. And then she lost some weight. She was six pounds, two ounces, I believe, or six pounds, one ounce. And then when we went to her appointment on Friday last week, she was six pounds, 10 ounces. So almost seven pounds. Hey guys, so I just got out the shower and I came downstairs to actually eat some breakfast, but peanut will not allow me to be great. I swear she can like smell me when I'm ready to eat. She's like, oh, my mom's ready to eat now. Let me just wake up and start crying. So I'm just gonna throw this laundry in to start quickly. And then I'm going to go feed and change peanut. I'm coming, mama. Say, hey, peanut, I won't let my mommy be great. But yeah guys, so I'm gonna finish this laundry and then I'm gonna go feed Right, another 30 seconds and, and uh, we will be coming to you for hey, just to get a hint because you we are trying to, to just yeah. get a feel Who's daddy making? Daddy's not making sneak peek into someone's mm -hmm. life Chef daddy the Missing He's dad is finally money. there uh, Yes Thank you mamas Ever knows where everything is and every time I come to change Baby Nyla, she gets everything ready. Aww. Thank you, mamas. What else are you missing? Blanket? Yeah. Here you go. Here. What Here. else are you missing? I had it unmuted myself. Thank you very much, Isma, uh, for that teaser that should get us talking. This has allowed a few more people to sort of join us. The bigger conversation here is not so much about the numbers, it's the quality and quantity of the debate that we have here. Uh, I think after watching that video, uh, well, Namatov says already the time is so sad. Um, Lisa says, not sure how experience reflects single parenting while married, husband making breakfast well, but you see when he actually does appear, how where in the picture does he appear, she's already gone through a lot of that. Well, that would help at least to sort of paint a picture. This might be the caring husband. In many situations, not many are. Um, exactly, unless it was once a month, I can see that, I think four. Uh, I was trying to count the kids, how many are they? <laughs> well, uh, this, this was just a sort of a sneak peek into the life of a very busy mom who actually is married but could easily be single. The husband actually established a, 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 during the, 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 as we watched the video that the mother, uh, the, the, the husband lives very early in the morning and this is quite often the kind of pattern that we end up having. I'd like to open the mic out to you uh, and you know, uh, have a conversation about this. We've just read that message and I'll repeat it just for purposes of emphasis uh, in terms of the strength of the message. Uh, maybe it would help us to reflect upon a message that came in through uh, from uh, one of our viewers who probably is with us now. Uh, says, I used to identify myself as a single married mom for many years and I didn't even think it was a well-known term. Believe me, it's the most lonely place to be. And actually, I wanted us to, to, to mark those words carefully. It's the most lonely place to be, especially if the mom and the children are living under the same roof with the father of the children who is derelict in his parental and financial duties. I think that adds another 
a critical element. She says, Wallahi, I can write a whole book about this and the negative impact the situation has on the physical, mental, intellectual, and emotional well-being of the mom and the kids. I can go on and on, but I'll stop here. Uh, so the idea then is uh, from the, uh, Lisa, maybe this was for himself because she went downstairs and made herself breakfast. Husband still has excitement of newborn peanut as the breakfast making. I think that's already a debate about uh, the video itself. But let's have a conversation now along these lines. And I'm sure everyone and many of you will have a story to tell. Farid Antegi, I come to you. Farid Antegi, if you can unmute yourself, please. And those who have just joined us, thank you very much for uh, joining. It's calm. Let's talk with me, Kasim Kaira. And today we are talking about married single parents. Married, but feels like single because of all the responsibilities that they have to carry. Okay, Lisa here is continuing the debate, I think, very nicely in the chat room. The, dif the difference is when your married husband will help with other responsibilities, such as grocery shopping, Life of a single mother cannot be compared to that one with the husband. His disappearance for work doesn't resonate. Well, disappearing for work, but now actually I think if it is a single mother, then you know what you're dealing with. The difference here is you are married, but in so being, actually you are like as if you are single. In a situation where you have to carry that entire burden, wake up, prepare the children, do their breakfast, do their uniforms, get them ready for school, make sure their homework has been done, drop them off at school, then come back, probably go to your own job, and then you come back three o'clock, you're picking up the children. It's not like there are shared responsibilities here. Uh, the missing dad probably might have his own reasons, and it would be very interesting just to hear uh, what the dads, what sort of excuses the dads would have out there. Uh, environment not convenient, says Farid Antegi. Okay, I'll take note of that. Hadija Nswa Ngugi, who says, for many women in the West, this is our life. It is not a choice, but the lifestyle. Many couples work opposite each other to save on childcare costs and are never present at the same time with the children. Perfect reasoning. Uh, that's, prob that, that, that's a valid point that probably could be one of the areas that we might be able to look at, especially if dad is working at night and then mom works daytime, or mom works night shift, and then dad uh, works daytime to make sure that they can swap and ensure someone is with the kids and therefore not missing out on the importance that would be there. I'd like to hear from you, please, in the conversation. Remember, you can text us on plus four four seven seven two zero seven. 207 I'm trying to remember that number of head. Hopefully I can. Uh, it's plus four four seven seven. <clears throat> it's run out of my head now when I've, I've crammed it entirely in my head. Uh, but you can actually text us or call us straight into the studio and we will be able to take your point. Uh, you can call us right now or you can actually text and yeah, we will take in your point. But the conversation is about married single parenting. We are live on YouTube and on, use, on Zoom via Umma Connected. Yes, please. Uh, any hands up? Isma? Do you have any hands up? Why should I struggle so much when I have Ustad Zaid? Ustad Zaid, let's get, let's get talking. Are you one of those missing dads or are you the one who drops the kids off to school? Ustad Zaid. There's a big echo, there's a big echo in uh, yeah, you are, yeah, 100 percent. Um, uh, wash them, make them food, make food for them, play with them, uh, take them to school, pick them up. Uh, I, I do everything, KK, everything for them. Would, would Madame attest to that? I think she would be of best place can. to say that. <laughs> want me to call her? <laughs> I, I would employ. I would employ you to bring her over. And I would want to hear it from her. I think it would be best to hear it from her. You might be surprised what she might say out there. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing. I, I believe, KK, that um, especially uh, between the ages of uh, uh, one to... Uh, eight to 10, let's say 10, that's when you have to maximize. That's when you, you have to show them the love. Because after then, when they go into their puberty stage, 
you, you're going to start missing them. They're, they're not going to give you that time. Mm -hmm. So you have to show them this, the love now so that they miss you when you're not there. When they, they know that dad loves you. Yes. Yeah, a time is going to come when they don't have time for you. You have to create that time now when they're still young. A very interesting conversation is taking place in the chat room. Uh, and you'll notice, you know, sort of the back and forth between Farida, there is Umu Raihan, Umu Raihan actually, and Lisa. And they are sort of saying, Lisa, having a spouse is supposed to make a difference to your quality of life. You know, if it becomes a negative utility, you might as well be on your own. And I think that's really the, the, the kind of conversation that we should be having. Why is it hard for some men? Actually, now that you're a man, uh, Ustad Zaid, maybe you might, you might be able to know. Uh, why is it hard for men to be able to help out, to sort of be there, like you know, you, you, you've described so well how you, you're able to do it. Why is it easy for you? Why is it difficult for the rest of many men? The upbringing, it is the upbringing, mm -hmm. and it is the heart. It's it's all here, yeah, inside here. I mean, your wife is not your slave. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to share everything. When you get married, you share everything. You marry her, her uh, imperfect, you all her perfections and her imperfections, and she does the same for you. When you get children, that's it. You have to to do everything she does. She, it's, there, there is no such a thing that this is a motherly thing and this is a dad's thing about, about the children. Is, is, there, is there an amount of time for adoption? Changing there, diapers. Yeah? Yes, uh -huh. that's what I was coming to. Is there a time that uh, I mean, would allow a person to adopt these husband. situations? Yes. Uh, Go on, okay, what, what um, I'm so disappointed in men that say, how can I change diapers? I can't change diapers. Now, if you no, can't change diapers for your son. Ustad Zaid, I, 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 I grew up. Me. Ustad Zaid, I grew up in a place where, for example, I never touched the diapers. For you to expect me to change the diapers, while it is, while it is good in itself, is there a time frame that I should be allowed to be able to be able to do that? I'm just, try, I'm just trying to think. Because there is a time I was, I was around Elephant and Castle. I remember a big man just like me. He had a bigger stomach than mine. Uh, but I saw the man getting out of the bus, rushing with a pram. The man was out of breath. Actually, it's like these people who get married probably later on in life because he looked like he was 62. He was nearly out of breath, pushing a pram, off the, actually, he was trying to get onto the bus, not off the bus. I saw the way the man was almost sitting. And I saw the man getting there and getting into the bus. Inside me, I'm sort of thinking, yes, but you have to go through this. You know, at this particular age in time, would you have to go through this? So, and I'm bringing this, not actually, I'm, I'm being an, an, a devil's advocate in this. The point I'm trying to raise here is that a lot of things we, we are just having to adopt to learn. You know, I never got my parents to do a birthday for me because our, our upbringing was such that, you know, birthdays didn't really mean much. But at the same time, I got to a point where now there was just too much pressure. I needed to have a birthday by friends. I was attending friends' birthday parties. I ended up doing my own birthday and I cooked my own chips from the restaurant and served the cake. And just to sort of give myself the satisfaction. Some of these things we are sort of adopting to, and it's not easy to sort of, you know, get ourselves in that place. So you end up actually being a lot more confused. In the Western world that we have moved to, many of us now have to find ourselves in a situation where you have to change the diapers, you even have to cook. If you love it, well and good. The problem is if you have to learn, is there an amount of time? Ustaz Zaid, I can see a hand up. I think it's Baneti. Uh, is it Baneti Tirwa? Yeah, that's Aisha. Yeah. Baneti Tirwa. Uh -huh. Okay, Baneti Tirwa, please, uh, please, Aisha, uh, unmute yourself, please, and go ahead. An interesting conversation, isn't it? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, thanks for the topic. But um, I'm going to use two languages, Ma Luganda and English. Oh, someone might not. I need to emphasize no, this point because no. this is a really Please. good um one. It's just about um. I think in Uganda, Uganda, 
like you said, you didn't get a chance of celebrating your birthday when you're growing up <laughs> and you didn't get a chance of changing diapers. Yes. But we're in the diaspora, whatever you call it, or this um, situation where you find you can't get a maid. So like from that day from uh, from the day you conceive you start losing energy by the time you give birth and you leave the hospital honestly things have changed you find the house is safe go la and get into a men are given two weeks majority i think it's um baba wa two weeks paternity leave right paternity leave yes paternity leave yes but that's correct among the two weeks me I'm, I'm saying on my, on on my behalf among the two weeks that I think I can use a clever more or one one game in the game. Those two weeks, no, was a cat even nagging. And as well, you need help, honestly. Gawakazala, you need maximum help, yes, a lot of it. Because you let's say I have five kids, mm. I had Abdulaziz as my last born, <clears throat> and my husband was away, he was mm-hmm. in Uganda. Mm-hmm. even a cup of tea in the hospital mm-hmm. that really took me further away i was really disappointed i was really down because i spent a week in a hospital i had my baby earlier 30, uh, 36 weeks almost a month early mm-hmm. they say they had uh, they had to keep me in the hospital but monitoring it i couldn't have i didn't have anyone to support me the people mm-hmm. who were willing to support me were coming from very far Let's say it was Habiba who had volunteered to come and he's coming from Newcastle. <clears throat> he couldn't, he had some other things to do. So I'm going to teach Sovoka, like I'm by myself. And yet I had told him, but I'm really in, um, that's my last days. You never know what will happen. Mm. They have this ego for them. Boba was we are not the same at, at this moment. Petrina, a bit to you know, which is running, you have to look after the kids, which you know, she be anyway. Our mom did that, but mm-hmm. at one time, they, their husbands respected them. They took me a chance. Me, I never saw my dad not bathing us, not doing anything for us, because he was always there. And this is why we ended up loving him so much because he was always there as a man. Which is not good. One way truly, we need each other for two if you're married. Whereby, if you don't do that, then I'm better off being on my, my own. Mm-hmm. So I think that's why it does it make sense. It, it, it does, it, it, it does, it does make sense actually. And there's a the bigger debate. Actually, someone here has come privately to be written. I had a C section, my children were in hospital. I was discharged without them. I had to go to hospital to feed them. I got on the bus to go to hospital to feed them while their dad was home sleeping. He couldn't even drive me to hospital. Some of these things, the rural stories, these are things that really, you know, make you shudder. You sort of wonder, uh, are, are, are they just, you know, baby making, baby making machines that just come and do that? One will to, to, to take them context, say, of Islam, for example, from a religious perspective. And I think these are very, very important things. Quite often we rush in Twitter, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the kind of relationship between a husband and wife, and actually that's almost delving out of the topic, but I think it is important to just put it within perspective. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about وَجَعَلَ أَبَعْدَ عُبْدِ اللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانُ الرَّجِيمِ وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً Allah puts love and understanding. Mawaddatan we wano wo kwa nila wora vechi kubye kumuntu wogendo kubero mugoberele wogendo kupasiwinga until you are able to grab the person. Once you have managed to get them officially, formally through their parents, through their the person responsible for them, then almost immediately the maka rahma comes in. And especially in the Western world. Where reality is the Tuliko, Charo, Kora, Mumamia, Kora, you are all coming back tired in one or another. While our res- fundamental responsibilities remain, Murimok Mantimba Moksasiragan, no Manyamunogari, no Noro Wozen, Gibyoksoro Kuyamako. 
Now, many homes are struggling because there has been a failure to acknowledge that. And sometimes it goes into our own upbringing because the two akulida wakura gwemwana musajja bamba akulida wa bajjajja. Echejo che wa jjajja gwemwami bakuita mwami buli kadachika ngaba inayo bajjo kutuma. But when you come into a situation, what makes a human being a human being is the ability to adapt to those particular situations. Then you need to be able to help the person and be there for the person. Look at someone who has just shared the message to say they had a C-section and they were in hospital, discharged without the children. I had to go to hospital to feed them. I got on the bus to go to hospital to feed them while their dad was home sleeping. I think you, you just put sometimes you really think and there are certain things that might actually make you boil. Abdul Karim Mugabe da umukolo. Kama one muwo butwa. Wanji ah ah to umukolo. Kama one ne muwo butwa. Isiku programu kuno to muwera ko butwa bambi so ko mureke. Anti kuvanga kati so kuvanga afuna exception gwene osigale ka ne weba. Ati no expecting azo kuba mudwa ali kujyo kuwa bane me butu for ya basana kuwo butwa. No I I said that that's the definitely the other thing I said that can kuvuli the men men say our backgrounds well you talk with that same mm. but we also grow up in different I mean, that's a within our, our backgrounds mm -hmm. some of us maybe were brought up where there is life which is good and you come get married to someone someone now mistreating and okay i thought when i was coming in this marriage i wanted some peace maybe to have a relationship which is very solid and good then you end up go you're casting that person you're saying oh my god i wish i wish i regret the day i found i met this person because time is there or not even a single minute in your life. And yet people, when they see you outside, they see you putting on a smile, they think you're happy in marriage. But sometimes you're not. It's really so annoying with uh, Ugandan men, actually. We have not seen it anywhere else. Ugandan men are so boring. They are so, they have, they're, I don't know. Yet. Well, the, 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 the issue is you haven't compared with other men, Aisha. So that in Nigeria, all your gains are for you. <laughs> when it comes to reality, you just need to understand. <laughs> we would love to try that. Do you know our kids have gone viral with those such um, uh, different cultures because of that? Because mm. they've seen how their mothers have struggled mm. and they always say it in blood day. They don't do this, they don't do that, they don't do that. Mm. I mean, me have not okay since as a double you get the sickness experience from any other men about Taliban na Uganda. Na ye when you go to them, I'm a Nigeria Kali, they might be good bad, na at least they respect their wife. Mm. Well, have someone here in the in the chat room, uh, many of our men lack empathy and they have a sense of entitlement. Ate nebe kwasa kwasa ku eh neba kwe kwasa neba kwe kwasa ko nyini. Uh quite a, a strong one. Uh, uh, Mugabe, you have, you, have, you have the mic. Thank you very much, Aisha, for that. Got us talking. Let, let's get it off our chests, please. And Fatou yes. Mugwanya, I'll come to you after Abdul, Abdul Karim Mugabe. Yes, thanks, uh, uh, Sheikh Kaila. I think uh, the last participant was very unfair. He's, she's just generalized the whole clan of Baganda or Uganda. Uganda men. Men. Mm -hmm. I think to me, it's about planning and communication. If, for instance, we were, because the bus, it, it takes nine, year, nine months. Mm -hmm. So within nine months, what are you planning for the output? How are we going to handle the new baby? Are you going to be off work? Am I going to be on work? We need to engage each other in this communication. That's why you see, uh, there are some men like me, I can't handle being in a theater, seeing my wife deliver. That one I can't. So there are men who can be willing to Why is that? Why is that? But it is. No, it's a phobia, yeah. It's a phobia, the fear. So... Kakati no sebo Abdul Karim ka kuburi le nange na doji inga nga ambitia chete neena tu kane wa mkwata. Anki se... Kubarongo, then neku last born, I had to be there. Nega miuka, gaku miuka no tuka no uguma. Kakati until and unless you've taken... You've taken the courage to get over that phobia, but you come yeah. out a totally different person. Uh, sorry, I, I, just, yeah, I, 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 I just I didn't want to interrupt you, but I thought it is important that some of these things together until it finds you. Don't lose your thought. 
yeah, one, I time, think... one time one time nagenda ne empa omuchara lift nga mvuga moro kampia ba inaje zigenda Rwanda and I was asked by my cousin Elias to ara mugunji nanga drive away amtabuse ko afunya obulwado gwa mangu mangu nansa ba mvugire one of the cars at least as far as Katuna to the border omuchi driver when again to lift to ara moro kaye yali ya yali atadde bwo muchara nga mu the lift in the process because the, the, the lady was already there, I couldn't uh, throw away the lady. I, I, I stayed with the lady in the vehicle and I was supposed to drive up to the border and then I would leave the vehicle there. My cousin would find, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him. He's since died. But all I did was continue the journey. Tuli wakati wachi noni, tuakava mchinoni mutawu ni tukiri la mchoja, o mkazi orubuto ne rumu simba, rumu tabu kako, she's due to deliver, siza azanga kumuchara, tulimu ama, tulimu konvo yuri umaduka agoba kugenda kutuka liya antonti. But driver wa sigade neba genda neba sigara, ne sigara buogu, ne mpa kinga kukubo, kumabali ge kubo, sebo mugabi na zazo mchara, chesi kura anga kunga andiwa ni umutima begu kuba, Omutima gwase mukane guva mu chifuma ne gudda mu nkwawa ne eje gwali mu nkwawa gwa kubira yo ne tuzara mpako mwana na azaliba kati bwe tukusanga yeah. ozigumira in a situation like this where you're saying oh enough phobia it is understandable have you ever taken the courage to try to get over that phobia no. as a husband of solo kubira yeah for example kati a situation you are limo you are training on a job you are training on the <laughs> job. <laughs> Actually, it's your phobia. Have yeah. you taken the effort of trying to get over that phobia? Probably you are going to get over that phobia. And phobia is gradually. It, mm. it, 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 it decreasing gradually. Yes. There should be like workshops. Mm -hmm. is, is, is grooming a man to be like... Uh, responsible in, during post and uh, pre bus kachilaba mm. kati abachala bagena ne balowoza men we know what they are supposed to do for instance for instance bolaba anga hygiene of the bottle oja kujja okasumulu leo lekenga te kali close that je ayombe so i think there is there is lack of training mm. from the experts who are the moms to the husband. Do, 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 do the men show interest as well? Mugabe, so you are, I'm trying to interject because we're having a conversation. And because yeah. Fatuma Mugwanya and Dabo Mukono Yaguani said that, which is getting it uh, yeah, open, I, we I open think, to another debate. But I, 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 do you show interest? Because sometimes what work you give is a keenness to learn. Have no, you shown that you have interest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Bobo is sober. Huh? Yes. And mm -hmm. you love your wife. Mm -hmm. You've made her pregnant and she's carrying the womb for nine months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless you are insane. Mm -hmm. Oh, this lady has a pressure. Now let me just sit on the TV and watch Teddy. I think mm -hmm. to me, I think there is need for training and communication and planning. Mm -hmm. You know, in three weeks, but this is what is on stake. You are either going to do this, and this is how it's done, and it's a graduate training, huh? okay. work in progress. Barakallahu fikum. Abdul Karim, stay there. We are conversation with Chagin Maso. We are all still here. Fatuma Mugwanya Jangu. Someone was asking Lisa here. I think I have forgotten what the topic is about. No, the topic is married single parents. And the concept was we have so many women out there who find that they are not getting enough support from their spouses. Just like there might be uh, some men out there who feel like they are not getting supported by their wives, probably they are carrying the lion's share of the burden in running the home. You are married, but it's as if you are single. That's the topic. So, One of the elements so that has come out is that. Wa alaikum salam of Fatuma Mkwai. Mwebali kuweleza. Amina, nyabu mwebali kubako. Topic in nunji okuwele anti. Twin Oakwing it up with him, Tokmania, Bulimun to a sorrow of Zook Cambling, a quang of no fumble. Next, I was such a but for our way, Uganda, in Jaul or Rockwanti, Bevave, Campala, Vivacuzeba Lava, Navali Uganda, Ballows, a baby monga truly to the Uganda, cutting all you call him America, all Canada, anyway. Mm. 
mm-hmm. nengo kuyamba china kole wanti kubana busasizi mm-hmm. nti kubanga bilibyo okuloma nyinti eka you have someone a joke ja kuyambe kobo ina ba anti wo baba sister bo bine bya ebye bwe rutwino kubera anti mwe mwe mbi mu ino kukwata ganyiza wa mo rensonga bo bato miyambia ni go subira mu kuyambira mm-hmm. oina kujawo chirinti ono mwana wafe twamtandise ko fe kababiri mukazi wo sibyangu olwa schedule oyinzo kusangibanga ba wa akola ruto nkulumanga abadalo za anti oliwa next week na ye just okubera anti mu schedule yo mwali in case of emergency you can stop omusajja abasajja bafe mu mwe na bango no end of the day but taking over nanyi ziwa no itra mu chimo sese mo rwala gwo musajje bisere bisingo bato kitegera niyo munno kubera nga afunya oluto natuko kuzala natuka mu dwaliro byo natu bisemu wano niyo ku making anti no mwe taking am before ebyo kugamanti chi happening family ye kubanga on end of the day for value value UK London na mu America abantu baba kwa sabana babwe ayagala amanye in case something happening you joke to la onyonyere bazadde we kusimu ntino nabadde wo ku last kubanga incident zitu happening ze ko kunze ku bantu fenanga abachala ne always tunula abanonga baita una baba babwe nga wo wahi ali kukubo kangutadde mu dua ukitegera eduanze etaka ni nje kala mpolo ya but baba abantu wakuga mayanta de mu dua ne eduwa wajitandi kanga tumufuna on the end of the day byali byababili twina ku kuva mu chiri eche kampalanti we can manage we can't you always oguma bugumingo mu chala no gamba no mukole kugamba lwa basajja ko jja mu chusa ene fa tuma wali wa batitizi wo wo muri do mwami ya garment yo genda wali kuleba cho badoga anti na yabe lebo agenda kula banga nsisi era ngalulite watitira kwe gamba e point jenga za ko kuleba kuliyo kutitira kweli munange kwa njawulo menyi bibili mwe njawulo nenda na bino kubanga lwacho yagalo tuma amanya go nange bilalo oyagala babi kuwe bwe kutebo kuche jenga za ko kola chinchi e kampala twa ina ne kati tulibabili naam ine ati fatuma je bade ngamba embarrassed ne zo muntu zoto because someone someone has just commented in the in the, the chat room saying uh, there is too much luganda could you please mix a little bit it's a very interesting topic we don't want to miss out no problem we will do the best that we can but we want to make it comfortable so that whoever maybe wants to speak in one of the languages then they are comfortable to be able to flow in that uh, particular language but uh, fatuma I, i get your point and the point i'm trying to raise is kumuntu na kurazi nti they 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 might, they might have a phobia like like abdul karim was 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 raising there yeah, he has a phobia of being able to stand there phobia, mm. but the sad part mm. in case of emergency njogera by experience even to be happening akonga kunze kubemanyi even to happening akone bakubira gweroza nti no last minute ngabeta aga go signing out mu obaf na operation nengo mtu table unyi no gama kanzire kaba ngambi 30 minutes mm-hmm. nene bakubira in, in two minutes we need you to be here mm-hmm. one in eba emergency na e emergency muna ala jana ya awanta sa yona aliwa ba where is your husband what's she get now yes please yeah um, Charlo, the, what the lady is saying could be true but it all comes to planning that's what i said that if for instance Some emergency lady, day, you can't plan because no an no, no, emergency point mm-hmm. it yeah, happens I, i understand no. that but if it's a cesarean birth you know when you're going to be uh, to go for surgery so i can't i can't make <laughs> no, an excuse can't. i can't make an excuse and say uh, i i didn't know that today you have a surgery you know It's about planning and imagine surgery imagine surgery can happen between of you having a baby you can't plan you can be pregnant you know your wife she's pregnant but imagine say is so much happening and between go to tenga muste kam dakika bino agamba 
more than you ten have to go minutes. Go C-section. Yes. Or second. Yes. 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 Kagamba experience a matteringa, nail work, tass, and no Kagamba change a gallop to you game. Ox topping a yabba and to wear away, Rungam Kazuva again up sal. Baba and Nanga Kugambe Se Kavera, old while you please can you stop your life no gamma Kazon, Tatira Kum pushing up being to be no. Kam Kagamba where an ekonga ye can yin ye would an ego told him movie and manja kuja mu forty five minutes or segue. Point in Gaza Kokua. Damaging or moon to acquire the woke. Wang and the a child happening. Chat to making us strong of we can be on na rach. Or in a daki karogamba and tea standing our star ways on tea woo. But nan gave you our cousin to see truly strong. Nailways or Yagara support ya bow way up to Sizaye. Ostegate, Omana Baum Wababi. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, Fatuma Mguanya and Abdul Karim. Hold the conversation, please. Don't go away. Lisa, I take note. You say I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. I feel like this discussion has moved away from its purpose. It's a very real situation, apart from a man not being there during labor. There are women married, but literally living single a life as though they are not married. Labor is hard, but it is the easiest part of parenting. The real work is when the child is... Uh, I'll try to dig into that. The computer just froze up a little bit on that. Uh, but Lisa, I take your note and uh, I, I'll be coming to you, Lisa, so that you can help us probably refocus back. But of course, definitely, this is one element. Going into labor was just used as an example. And suddenly, it has really touched a chord with many people. It's not like we have lost track. We are still on women who are married, but still feel like single. And it's actually, this is coming from people's, from women's hearts themselves, what they are saying about what they feel. And for me, as a moderator, mine is actually just to see how we can have that conversation. Lisa, I'll be coming to you. Let me try to reduce on the, on the hands that are already up. I'd like to hear your side of the story. Probably it might help us to refocus on where you'd want the debate to go. Sheikh Kamle Gyasebo, unmute yourself. And so on goes with it. We have a very big uh, audience right now, and it's quite very varied. There are people who are not English speakers. If you can, please try English. We can translate. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Young Jana Fat Mavia, you get a Ginaga dog so Keraco. Kuvanga, I know you're not truly parenting yet, Andy Kira. Parenting at Andy Kira Mukuzar, at Andy Kira Muleba. Aye, I nature Gambocha Gamenti. Emergency a war. Never muga or muchara one to ten omsura mudua libo, and a yin yin touch subi rangana conti, but jak morongos. Na ye imagine it is sour walk magadi bangali devam gamin to you have five minutes over secho or my move abatari woko signinga, but the jaque signing to look for a much a theatre. Part ye ye single o kuma bachara. Umwami okubela antitaliwo in that particular time. Mm -hmm. no. That, uh, okay. Sheikh, chifira ruda wa, ruta, chifira ruda wa, chifira ruda wa, basaji ya buta vayo. Basaji ya buta vayo, Sheikh. Chifira ruda wa, buta vayo. Tengenda ko. Tengenda ko. Na, msi. Tengenda ko, oko, oko gira kecha. Mm. Nti, two things. One, kwa kuranga, tulina ego za basaji ya, Two, ne tu kuli ramu ba antonti tuara ba wanga ba sadi abavuka oba ba sadi ba singo bungi yebara ba ba kadde ba ba kora yebaga ba kore ifu na ba genze mbofumbo kati 
fetwa kula bata ba mama wa fubage na maru baba tu ada maru aliro ni bazaara what happening there we don't know wachitege kati wetu hava mu Uganda ni tujia kumawanda ni tusigaza thati culture e gamanti ava chara beso vora mbulichimu elaba they have to do everything to their, by their own ni tuwe la vidanti ya Uganda tuwa ni nanga yuba senga bafe tuwa ni yuba mama bafe wajadja bafe ava zara ba mama bafe ba ina ba sister ba abwe neba tata ba abwe ba ni nanga ba sister ba bafe ba ina ba senga bafe kubanga Batata ba fe ba dilanga ba nina abu ne ba ba take up ba chara ba abu ba gen ba ba wele kire machi maruadiro. Goya banga tafunye cho nga atumia gia waso mochara monsindi kire muramu wange gundi ajawe ne ne muganda mduari o banga ena kuzokuza rizkozeji zitose. Chetu kai na wano kuma wanga tu. Fawali wano kumawanga, echitulete dogu zibu. Nti kubanga, Abdul Karim ya genza na agama, nti is planning, 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 yes, planning and communication is wevili, na ye, yali afu deyo, kubanga kubi planninga, chivagwe kufa yo, nga mchara wali ugutu. Here, they do lessons when you are going to, when you are, your wife start going to hospital to take her check up. They give men lessons how to handle everything. Na hii aliafu deyo kubuza mchara we, mtiba nange, lesson is a dualilo, zivera uzita, elavi chibiba yigiri sayo. Eyo fobia jari na, yari vade ya guwa oda, guwa vanga ya kandika doku za. Kubanga, bali vade wa mwade, step by step exercise, ingeri chija gendo kubera mu, na ingeri chija gendo handling that fobia. Nyo roku wante tuviteka kumuoyo, tuvile kila bachara wa fe, unovo za chumuze nafo vya sora gena mtu wali. Nota manya vizivu chibi vera mchi. Chensu vila nchi uli musajia ya nari wano, senga taking a time, na vera kumudu wali ronga mchara wa genze muleba, tayi inza kukutu kawa wakatiwe, mkwanugu wakatiwe na bana, na mkwanugu wakatiwe na mchara we. Kuvanga, he knows all the problem go she going through the hardship or the muted the hardship and the muted didn't you notice since the hardship but allow for the woman to actually just name one which have a daniel zaku at the end of the day marriage is supposed to be a partnership and yes. that goes in all aspects some men forget that it's like yes got the girl got pregnant my job is done Komulanti, <laughs> many are only uh, are available in bed. End of story. That's why women put them in timetables. <laughs> that is not true. The Sagar was a Javon na. Shakasi. No, Shakasi. Sagar was a Javon na. The gentleman is Sengaba Sajava one. Eh? Obama Bukaba was sir. Sengaba trying Okuberako mu labor. Never ever Obuzibu Abacharava Fibu by Tamunga Bazar. Sroo zanti oyinzo oyinzo buta dayo kwa gara mchara o sroo zanti oyinzo buta gara van. Once you have gone through that, well, when you go through that, ofuna ofuna that love, awa dia kwa gara mu noksa sira, noksa sira ko obo dia kufuna kundi nyo eri mchara o ne dia van. Thank you very much. Shake up, my dear. Barak Allah fi kum. I'll just go to Kauthar, Kauthar's iPhone, so that we don't we spread out the conversation. Uh, I don't understand it. That was Ma Mam Sabir. Mam Sabir, uh, don't, don't worry. Uh, the conversation is in English. It's just that when we get uh, someone who would be comfortable speaking in Luganda, then we give them the opportunity to be able to expand on their points. But the important point was uh, the Sheikh was raising an important issue saying if any man ever got a chance to get into the labor world, that's where everything starts. Actually, the whole parenting issue starts from there. And I just got a comment here which was telling me that what women are referring to as being uh, feeling married but feeling single is the fact that the woman will come, a bulb breaks down, or a bulb, uh, there's a bulb issue at home, and the wife will come to fix the bulb, and the husband is in the home. The wife will come in, uh, go and work, husband is working as well, but then the woman comes and has to buy everything at home, Yet the man is just happily coming to eat. 
this is what it feels to be uh, single yet married. Um, from uh, okay, so uh, Kauthar, uh, Kauthar, please go ahead. Kauthar's iPhone. Hello. 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 Kauthar. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and Thank clear. Thank you Welcome so much. Thank you for giving. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to um speak on this platform. Pleasure. Um, I kind of heard what everybody was saying, like mm. from like the parenting aspect of it and then going into labor. Um, I just feel like um, within our community, I can't really speak upon anybody else because I do have friends who are like of a different, um, like, like white friends, Indian friends and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like within our community, um, we lack um, a lot of male people being present within their children's life or within the parenting aspect of it mm -hmm. because um, as some of the ladies have touched upon um, the topic, it's well it's well and good to like plan to have a child and everything like that, but not be present within going into um, the meetings, the appointments that need to happen. Like even the other gentleman, he touched upon the fact that he's scared. Um, I'm a first time mum and let me tell you this, like the same way he feels, a woman feels exactly the same way. Some people haven't even had children and they're very nervous about this experience that they're going to go into having a child and stuff like that. So I just feel like men put so much pressure on a woman, mm -hmm. but they don't think about, okay, how, how, how is their mental state when they do have children? How are they coping when they're pregnant? How mm -hmm. do they feel within that nine months of the stage when they're going through the pregnancy? Mm -hmm. Um, with I can only speak of myself when I was pregnant um I was pregnant within the COVID time and I felt like it was it wasn't the best time to be pregnant especially as a first-time mother um you feel so alone you don't have a lot of people around you when I delivered uh, my family were not able to come and see me mm -hmm. so it's it's kind of hard and I feel like sometimes guys don't understand that they feel like a woman has to make sure the house is clean, make sure the food is put on the table, make sure the child is thing, make sure the, um, the men are pleased in bed, make sure everything's done. Towards the end of the day, it's like, wow, like, have they generally asked, like, how, how do you feel? Like, how, how are you today? Like, how did you cope? How is the, how did you, um, how were you with the children and stuff? So I feel like, they need to stop thinking like, oh, my parents did this and it mm. worked for them. But mm. instead of doing that, they need to start having their own traditions and start like ad adapting to what they need to within their own situation. So, Kauthar, following... uh, Kauthar, did you think it's a lack of willingness to learn on the part of men I think, I or think... are they just not making enough efforts? I think it's a bit of both. I feel like it's the lack of willingness to learn because let's let's give me let me give you an example. There's some men who have um, grown up with sisters or family members who have had children, so they've had that experience of like, oh, it's so easy. They've had children, so when you have your child, it should be a piece of cake. Like it should be easy for you to deliver. You should be able to control the whole household and be be gone with it. But at the same time, it's like they lack empathy and they lack the emotional attachment to mm. what a woman's going to. And also <laughs> how it so, is. Someone here said, Kauthar, in the chat room, that diaspora men are always thinking about shifts. You know, he's yeah, pretty much. The they're thinking about, the, yeah. While some, there, some men do think about, like, like, I understand, like, I understand sir like it's very very hard for a man like mm -hmm. they go they go to work they have to do a lot of things to make sure that they maintain a household but then at the same time I feel like they should also sit down like within the day when they come back from work and they've had a long shift at work just have a conversation with your wife or your partner or your significant other and be like how was your day how was the child did you what did you experience today tell me like how it was like do you need me to help with anything do you need me to change the child do you need me to bath the child like whatever it may be like as long as they're helping in some aspect of it mm -hmm. it gives a woman a little bit more of um that freedom to be like do you know what my partner is actually helping so you don't yeah. put that much pressure on them do you understand that person cares about me mm -hmm. and they sometimes forget about the mental state of a woman. Like, it's a lot. Like, some women, I know people say that, oh, a woman, this is what they're built to do. But not all women can mentally cope with the with everything. Imagine just being thrown in there and just 
having a child it's not an easy experience for you to in, endure like it's such a hard thing so sometimes people don't really talk about mental health within a, a woman but there is a lot of people like I've spoken to mothers and they go through things they're, 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 they're depressed they feel like why is why isn't my partner helping enough like what is it that I'm doing wrong because so like let me give an example a white man he would cater to you okay some white men will cater to you they'll be like baby what can I do you like should I give you some food let me give you a drink let me do this let me do that blah 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 but like our men it's like nyabo mered you are that's so much of a generalization. So, Kausa, no, it's no. not Kausa. a generalization, but Kausa, I just feel like just, with just the a quick communication. Yeah. yeah, just a quick, word, a quick one, and I thank you very much actually for the bluntness because I think this is the difference in terms of the conversation. We do not come here to make points in terms of who wins the debate and so on. It is about yeah. having that conversation, and I think the more we realize what is going on in the hearts, in the, in the, in the minds of our, of, of, of our spouses, of our right. potential spouses even, you get yeah. to learn on, on how, probably how one can better oneself. Is there a time frame that can be given to a person? Because we are all coming from different backgrounds, you know, coming to this kind of situation. While it's, for example, your first baby, your first birth that you had, the husband is also, your husband is also facing or having his first or her, his first child in that particular yeah. instance. So you are oh, all really is, down a, a sort of a learning curve. Is there a possibility in terms of time frame that should be given to a person to adjust to be able to get to where you would want them to be? Um, several, so, like we're all learning. Mm -hmm. This 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 world that we're in is a learning curve for every person. You and I my mom, my dad, my friends, there is no time frame. I, you can never put a time frame on something. It's something where it's like, if you're thrown into marriage, you learn. Like you have to know how to be compatible with that person, how to live with that person. You need to be able to know how you communicate with that person. You need to have compromises. If this person doesn't like this, how am I gonna be able to make sure that I don't do that? How am I, if this person gets angry about this, how am I gonna resolve that situation? Do you understand? How am I gonna diffuse that whole situation? It's exactly the same as being a parent. It's a learning curve for both, both parents, both the mother and the father. Okay. So it's something Thank you very much. Uh, I'll go to Tasneem. Uh, is that Ab Ab Abdul Karim? No, what I wanted to chip in just simply is that yes, and I'll be men, to Tasneem. Uh, yeah, please. men not being able to go into the theater, it doesn't mean that they're not responsible or they don't care. We've seen people who have phobia, they can't plane, they can't go through escalators, but it doesn't mean that they don't love you or they don't care. It's just a natural thing. That's what uh, I wanted to chip in. Thank you very much. Tasneem, you have your mic. Uh, go ahead, please. Hello. Um, so and, 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 and Lisa, and while Tasneem is talking, Lisa, please be ready. We'll be coming. We'll try to come next to you. And then Wanaisha Kisuri. Yes, please. Hi, go everyone. ahead, Tasneem. That, hi, everyone. Thanks Hello. for having me. Thanks um, for being on here. So basically, I just wanted to say that... Um, the biggest thing for um, married women that um, are feeling single is the fact that um, their husbands leave them to kind of take care of everything. And by them not being present, it means that the community and their family and that won't support that woman. And because they're just like, well, where's your husband? Where's your husband? So my point is that even though that they're in a marriage, they're not getting that full support from everyone. Whereas, for example, if their husband has died, mm. then everyone would be helping them out. Everyone would be asking, like, how are the kids? And can we do that for you? Can we do that for you? But because these people are married, then the woman then doesn't get the community support that she deserves and needs. Mm -hmm. So that, that was the point that I was going to make. Oh, brilliant. Thank you mm. very much. Barakallahu Fiku. Uh, what would you say, for example, to the person who says most of most men sort of just do what they saw their dads doing? Most of them do what they saw their dads doing. It could be a cycle. Let's pray for our sons. Is that your view, uh, Tasneem? Oh, Tasneem is gone. Okay. Uh, we're coming to, um, it was Monaisha Kisude. 
Monaisha, unmute yourself, please. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Nice to have you here. Thank you. I came a bit late, but I kind yes. of picked up on the topic. Mm -hmm. So pleased with the topic, Masha Allah. Thank you, sisters, for all your advice, all your complaints. It's good, you know, to share. Sharing is caring. Like we've had a lot of new moms, Masha Allah. May Allah make it easy for you, my babies, my sisters. Amen. I'm just, I wanted to just say something because I'm an experienced mom, you know. I've got six children, alhamdulillah. Oh, barakallah. You are competing with me. We are drawn now. Exactly. Six, six, yes. <laughs> now oh, we can we can talk authoritative. We can talk exactly, but I feel so sad to hear the way the sisters Maskini they they're not complaining, but they're sharing their views. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I don't know how I can explain this. That I've been married with my husband. Alhamdulillah, we had our first children in Uganda. Mm -hmm. We came here with two children. The four I've had them in this country, and exactly what the sisters are crying is i don't know whether to say baganda men because i'm married to a muganda man i'm not a muganda <laughs> but i'm married to a muganda man but he's not that bad you know mashallah mm -hmm. alhamdulillah he well that's a, that's a vote for men i think uh, yeah. Marisha, so, someone just wrote in to say their dad they know someone who actually you know drops yeah, off the kids to school and doing well, and dad is one of them. Mm -hmm. but it comes to like they said the what do you how did you, the sister said before like the the boys we have now i i tell this to my husband as well like the the sons we have they learning from them remember they had their kojas and they had their brothers big brothers they had the community which here we don't have that so in a house here the mother is the mother, is the singer, is everything. The dad, is the grandfather, is the koja, is everything. So you have to teach your children and they learn from you, not even teaching them, is how they grow up seeing you. What is the dad? I've got, my, alhamdulillah, my experience, you know, when I give birth, my husband is always there for me. The brothers who were saying that they don't have time, I don't know, because in England, you get paternity leave. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. get the two weeks, which you you know when your wife is due. But we, we, we had a lady, we had a lady on who said, actually, yeah. they, they only got to see the husband one day of the two weeks that they are granted. As so why? Why? Shifts. Why? Additional shifts. Because uh, that's what I'm saying. There is paternity leave. You ask, you know, when your wife is due, you ask the two weeks. When your wife is due, you're there for her for those two weeks. <laughs> At least, you know, it's not... A Oh, something with your line there. Are you still there, Manaisha? Manaisha, are you there? Uh, Jonah here, I think, says everyone has the same heart and same needs. Forget country or culture. Are you super enough to have a relationship of love and nurturing each other? Imagine. I think that's a very, very strong one. Lisa, I'm waiting for you. Um, moderators, please, if you could help me just find Lisa. She, she had raised some pertinent questions. I think uh, probably that might help. Mom of three to everyone says, uh, ha, ha, shifts, additional shifts. Yes, yet you took time off work. You're supposed to be actually having that. Lisa, please get yourself ready. Hasfa, you can unmute yourself, please. Hasfa. Um, wa wa Good to have you here. Uh, thank you. This is not on. I can't find her. I think she came off. All ah, right. Um, okay. I, have, I have a few things to say. Number one. For the men in the UK or maybe some countries in Europe, I guess you have it good. You get two weeks paternity leave. Abami everybody in America don't get that chance. So I cut some slack for some men who are in America. For those of you who are in the UK and they still <laughs> do not do their part, I was an achivoko. I also wanted to talk about background. I, I just rem I remember the time my brother, um, Kazuenga Genzo Kuzala, and my dad said, Omanifebe Twazala, and I got to Dayo Dwala Machada, Mudwali, don't got to Linda Katu Kovida. 
Ne era kati mwabe na kuzina mwina akajanya ne mutula mudwadi ko mulinda mukazi kuzala. So I, I, I wish you could put that into English. Remember we have a global <laughs> audience here okay. that is actually okay, my, listening. I remember English. my dad, my dad when my brother's wife went to the hospital, he, my dad, my brother told my father. <laughs> that, that you can you can't stop the... it coming out. Let's hear that. <laughs> you know, and then my dad said it was like I mean, why should you go to the hospital? I mean, you guys this age are just too much. What are you going to go sit and do in a hospital? You go sit home and then they call you that she's had a baby and then that's it. And I swear, Wallahi, my brother did exactly the same thing. He went, he said they'll call me. But alhamdulillah, my, my, my brother's mother-in-law was there with the wife and, you know, everything went well. So that culture gro- goes with, with, with the men. Now, when you come in the diaspora, maybe it may be a little bit different. But at the end of the day, personally, I say, you have to understand your partner. I have seen men who pass out when they see blood. Yeah. I saw a man who passed out when his wife fell. She was pregnant, and they had to suture her in her face. I swear that man passed out. I've seen a couple of men pass out. So... When you know your partner, you don't have to make it an issue that they have to be with you in the labor ward. It is all about understanding. If he doesn't come with you, he doesn't love you any less, but you know your partner. When you know your partner, you'll have less stress. So if he doesn't go with you to the labor ward, alhamdulillah, I do not, for me, I personally, I don't want them there. You wait outside the door. The doctor will tell you she's done. But do, do, do you have to be there personally? I say, understand your partner. Do not have this too much stress that because they are not there, therefore they're not being responsible, therefore you feel alone. No, understand. That's, that's what I have to say. Brilliant. Thank very you very nice. much. Has for Barak Allah Fikum. And actually, very importantly, because I think uh, this is a global community conversation, and uh, many of the people you know are, that are here, yes, will be predominantly from the Ugandan community, but there will be people who are coming from other communities. It would be interesting to hear just what your experience is, because we've had a lot to do with where we come from, where we come from. I would love to hear someone probably who is listening into this conversation on seventy-five. W Radio live and on Zoom on Umma Connected and on YouTube at the same time. Uh, just to sort of give us a feel, a different feel from where they are at. While I'm waiting, please just raise up your hand and I'll pick you up uh, to have to hear what you have to say. Uh, Chiwanuka's iPhone, uh, unmute yourself, please. Chiwanuka's iPhone. Yes, Chiwanuka's <laughs> iPhone, you have the mic, please. Okay, say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam, good to have you here. Banai munsonyu wena ye, ngenda kwa mzungu, na kola kona ina ango ba mzungu unga jogira. Angamba bubango ya kola point in tufu. Yogera mulimi rose of Oxwea Lingram. Hold that thought, Ngabuja, Ngabuja. Jonah has raised a very important point here that I don't think actually many people will agree with that. Uh, someone yes. was talking about, Hasfa had raised a very important point where she spoke about seeing some men who passed out as, as a result of looking at blood or whatever. I used to be like that, and I, I can't claim that I've, I'm totally healed. There will yes. be situations I think that I'll find myself in that. But Jonah is saying I would rather my husband passes out and be there with me and I will catch him that's, and love him even more. He might be dead unrealistic. before you catch him. Go ahead, please. Yeah. <laughs> that's being unrealistic. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Go ahead. What is in the point the very important to mm. uh, into Natchola on my own, my own accord. Yes, name for experience in the end and I don't have to die. Nature making zeros and chan making of whether less of a man or woman to attack in the less of a man. Cutty, what point you are raising the no gamanti? I want to won't go back on that to turn down got to the adaptive quicker to to adapting up a new situation. Uh, but then, however, not for what will is another side of a side. To the more defending each into Chava Chala, Chevo, get a country, Rokova, to Akuri, the Makagarimba, Tanga, Tibali, involved moving to be a trap for Langa to Lava. 
nandi roze zanti entambula e, e, tuyiganga tu, tu, tu tutambula tulaba batu uliriza mumbera bwetu kati twajja mu nsimu ne bintu binyo byetu adaptin ze bitwali tutamanyi beyond our kwega bitwali tutalabanga nako nene tu adaptinga na tambulira ku lamo era tuchatambulira ko olwo kulongosa obula mu bafe ne mbera za bantu bafe kati si defending a chaba chala chepo gira ko <coughs> nene andiro ze zanti aba chala chintu echo baba nga bachitadde kwenye emphasize walwo want we to going along with you know okukirizanti tuli uh, tuli mawega mwecho tu adaptinga oh, ku mbera eye tagza mm. na dala abachali chintu chepa taika kesira echo kubante tuli involved mu bana kubanga omwana omwana kirabe ki e, 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 kuva allah e kuveri allah ya kitu wabwi atena kitu wabantu babiri omusajja mm. bogama nti nze nakula tatanga takola kino batakola kiri obo defending kiri a kiri kwege kyo tasobola na ku defending obo geza ko bugeza na inga manyite kijja kola ki tikijja kuguka nze nsaba <laughs> tulirize nya ba challenge songe iyo na hiji gambe kyo gama nti no tulina culture culture eri okay na hivi ntu binyo bitulese mu culture mm. nenga twabikulira Nene tu ne tutoka munsi muno no tutoka wano no vuga nge kitala tojja kita mu Uganda wa vugo kita mu no no je wano no no simba line ku bus kubanga wajisanga baji simba no genda okupeyinga mu, mu supermarket no sanga online no jisigira e Uganda nge kintu kitu twachukulira mu that is form of adapting kugonde ko evolving sipo kiriseka yes absolutely <laughs> no, I, I take your point. I take your point about not having uh, excuses as men. We should be listening yes. in and learning. And I think yes. that, that, that that's the whole idea of this. It's not a it's not a, a point of it's not a point scoring moment yes. where men now will hear this and you know yes. say make the point and then the women come and make a counterpoint. It's about yes. getting to learn to improve mm -hmm. our relationships ultimately. I had asked to get a person who is away from Uganda from the Ugandan community. I think had. Hadija, uh, Hadija Ngugi, Hadija Ngugi, uh, I would imagine probably you are from away. Hadija Ngugi, and meet yourself. Hadija Ngugi, uh, kuna yes, mbaye. assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Should I assume that you are Terere? <laughs> I'm married to an Atelier, mixture ah, of Uganda yeah. and Tanzania. So ah, East okay. African all combined. Karibu sana uh, kipindi hiki cha sase hivi. Alhamdulillah. Quick, ah, quick yeah. comment, taking away from labor room. No. We have not spoken about education. Mm -hmm. I work I work with children and many of our or many of our men are not involved in our children's education process. Mm -hmm. They don't attend parents' evening. They don't find out with teachers what's going on. So it's the mothers who are doing that. Mm -hmm. But when the children bring home a bad report, they want to make noise <laughs> and tell the child off. Yes. That's something we need to talk about. Mm -hmm. We've talked about dropping the children off to school, but not it's predominantly done by women, but we need to talk about the education process. So before you expect a good report, how involved are you in the child's learning? How involved would you want them to be? Because sometimes as well, now I'm putting this question to you simply because we are not at the similar levels of education. I have seen, for example, within the Somali community, you see mothers struggling, you know, never had the formal education. They have to help the children with the homework. You find a real, can, real difficult situation. I can How give you many you? examples mm -hmm. where sometimes it's the children who are having to interpret for the parent in front of the teacher. Right. So that's even a, a situation itself. But if you're living in the, in the UK, mm -hmm. there's so much help that if you're even struggling to understand the teacher, that they have a responsibility to get an interpreter right. to be present on that parent's evening. So it's not an excuse. Not to, under, not to be able to speak the language, not to understand the process. The information is there. If you don't know, you ask. Okay, so education you, is Before one. you ask, mm -hmm. we, we, um, I work with children as young as five months. Mm -hmm. And I have, my son is 15. I've got a whole story I can tell you with that. Mm -hmm. But our men have to be involved with the children as early. And that's why I'm, in the comment, I made a comment about being conscious before conception. We are not just children droppers. Before you decide to have a child, before you decide to get married, really think about the future or the type of life you want for your children. Know when they are born before you make them. Uh, but you, you, you acknowledge that, uh, Hadija, you acknowledge that a lot of times when we fall in love, these things actually just come in secondary. You are really in the heat of the moment. And therefore... We need to reverse the, 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 that. that. We need to reverse that cycle if we want to change our generation. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother of four and there's nothing worse when your child attends school 
because of the color of their skin, they already expect it to be bad. They haven't done anything bad yet, but that's the system we're in. And if you're not aware of what the system is, how are you going to support your child? Mm. That's, but, what, that's what I would want us to do better with. Be involved in the education system. Be part of the PTAs of school. Right. Be part of the policy making systems. Then we can be able to help the community in itself. Noted. Thank you very much here. I think it is from Mom Sabir, who says single married moms has a lot of problems on one side and benefits on the other side. One problem is they don't feel like happy women because they spend a lot of time acting as dad and mom and head of household for a long time. But benefit that come with that is that they get a lot of confidence in managing houses, either with, with a man or without. So men should be careful <laughs> with that woman because they are no joke. Don't mess with her because she's already knowing how to live without you. Aha, for the men out there, ako karangu, <laughs> notice given. Jonah says involved in education period, you don't need to be educated. You need to support and encourage and facilitate. So the level of education therefore doesn't matter. It is just how much involvement you avail there. Uh, Tabitha uh, Kakai says that's a good point. Both parents should turn up on parents' meetings at school. Quite often, you know, whenever, wherever it is possible, I think that should definitely be on the calendar as long as it's not just one of those emergency uh, meetings that come up. Hamida says they expect the moms to do the homework with the children, attend parents' evening, and do all sorts of things, as involved as they are when making babies. Well, here is someone who's actually come out, I think, to make a very strong statement. They say some of the men are really good and very understanding. I appreciate my husband for the care he always provides to me. He's supportive throughout, so we need to recognize those who are committed to their families. <laughs> He must have had uh, your message to this effect. Uh, I'm sure he's smiling wherever he is, uh, and that is encouragement. Why not? Uh, we are nearing actually the, the half past. Uh, in this program, come uh, let's talk with me, Kasim Kaira. We dedicated a window specifically of 10 minutes between 9.30 and 9.40, where we take just a slow breather, and this dedication is just specifically for someone to come on and say thank you to a special person, either living or dead, and that might be the dua. Just for the next 10 minutes, I can see the hands, Galaxy Note 9, Rebecca Chiinji, Hajat Sarah Bari, I have not forgotten you. I'm sure, probably why not use the chance? You come in, you say your special thank you, and then we use that to explore into the next topic. 10 minutes at 9.40, inshallah, we shall be continuing with the topic, but for the next 10 minutes, I plead with you, allow me specifically to allow anybody who would like to say special thank you to that special person. I think we've already had it from iPhone. I wish I could get your name. You see, who praises the man, says my husband. I appreciate my husband for the care he always provides to me. He's supportive throughout. So we need to recognize those who are committed to their families. Mm -hmm. We have not discussed the psychological cost of adulthood when a dad is absent both physically and literally. That will be in the last segment as we just move into the last segment, inshallah. Probably we can cut down this instead of 10 minutes, let's make it five minutes. Just come, say special thank you to that special person that you would have wanted to know. Probably they are alive or they are not. Uh, I can see here lots of questions, lots, lots of points that are coming in the box, but I was expecting hands. Galaxy Note, please uh, unmute yourself. Galaxy Note 9, special person to say thank you to. <clears throat> and a quick point regarding our topic. Galaxy? Hello. 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 Uh, hiya. Go ahead, please. Hello. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to 75W Radio uh, with me, Kasim Kaira. Yes, please. Go ahead. Barakatuh. Amen. Um, Cartoons and in experiences, I mean, they are really a bad yeah. one and a good one. Mm -hmm. The bad one was a first marriage. Um, Tizibunyo, Obashibinyo, Ofumbirwa, Omuganda Musiram, Ovangambe, or what Wangi that and Nayanga so Sakalicha. Anger, Bishmucha Bakola, I was in the 
obuganda bungamba buteno kale shangamba wen sija kola chino sija kola chini ate bwe bitu ukanga nga goli mshala wa kubiringa yazala kodda buja bagira kubanga ebikwatagana ku bana ebate bimukwata ko so nafuna experience ifanagana ko no mshala omu yayogedde ko bifo sebo omwami <laughs> tagena mleba anga ngenze kuzala bya bulijjo <laughs> And now to come to Ali Rongavanga Matomani, Omana Ali breached with Aga emergency serious appeal. Kakati, Baku, Momami and Gamba, Manganam Labour, Omami and Gamba, Nangabo Mammy to my intim labour, Mammy and Gamba, ah, we are ambulance in the deep busy. In a number of Nang. When they sang in them, do I don't say car? Nangamba, ah, the deep busy. Nengena mduwa ilondo uzaenda kuza alabia avulu unji. Eno kutu kayongo mana yechu siza. Nga alibrished. Mbamu kubile simu mbamu gamo mani. Mshala u agena kuitaga emergency section. Yabaga mazendi bize. Nina appointment zendiko. He never turned up. It's so disappointing. Aba mitu wa mani. Bintu bitu luma. Mugeno kutu wanga tosha agala na mutu nulako. So mbade nsaba aba mivambi. Bobango oli mwakati ya Allah tunuyira omwana wabanno nti nawo ogenda kuzaala omwana naye bamukola exactly nga cho wakozi wa munno so mbade nsaba bambi abami bachuse moko amen ah uh, kati experience yo kubiri Allah nanza sida wo kumone bugenda kubanga ibyalu wo byalu wo byali biwamu kati kisa soboka kubera na mtoyi mm. alhamdulillah Allah nandetera imani kal nalete mboko <laughs> eh mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't complain anything about him. He's a lovely, lovely man. She's more Thanks very much, Galaxy Note 9. Kindness is so key uh, on Agambie from a message uh, on, online. Uh, kindness is so key in relationship and men need to learn how does this present itself in a relationship and what they can do to show kindness in a practical sense. Showing irresponsible behavior towards your wife and children or household or marriage uh, expectations is so unkind. Men should invest a lot in being friends with their wives. Two, men pick up being open-minded. Three, yes, men are copying their upbringing and this has got to stop. Women must also learn to understand the mental challenges that men are facing in the UK. Try again the new over the issue that uh, it's actually we're looking at the mental issues that women have to put up with, but men have a lot of other mental issues also. Actually, mental health issue is a big, big issue now when it comes to marriages and relationships. Hajat Sara, uh, uh, unmute yourself, please. Hajat Sara. Mute. Yes, yes. Um, then yes. 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 Mm. Ati buli muntu ali kuno muzadde. Baba zadde gwenga wo kuzamu omwana bajjo kubera encha ebisere bisinga. Kati bubanga wafuna omwami ku side zo mbibiri omuchala no omwami. Bwage bwagene no kuna yo mwami wo bakugono etu ajitegera. Chobula banga omwami akuisa bwatyo. Nawo omuchala onawo omwami obanga gana wafuna omuchala jo wamusanga no mufuna Omanya background yo. We will go to Saga and Akuze to be a rabbit combo. Kakatins the chunky way to be very simple. Three Navan, Umana Mukuze, Gomteki Ravala, Tajafuna issues is on Nazo. Mumabami Ababi, Numaba Charabi. Kuzo Mana woo. One of the two hundred Sanga and Gom Zadde, I know Mana. No Mana Namleta. No Mana, no Mana, yes, of what? Tagak Mogan. Then not to be a no Gambo Mano and Chagak Sango Mana Wangi. We must so get there, co. 
umwana anga kusanga ubuzibu bunji nyo bugeza kuteka umwana wo mu Burundi yo yo muragamba anzu umwana anga njaka nakule bwacho kati zo zola issues zetutesa ako fena 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 tuno kusuno ya ntugamba manyi tukuze abana bafe Burundi buno umwami kayira wana kuzo umwana we Burundi na sanga sanze no umwana wange kana ya kuzibwa Burundi uja kusanga bino ne bizu bitu ina kuse ya byayogere bichamu aya kutegera omugaso guri mu okwisa obulungi omuchara ngagenze muleba no mwana we kubanga kwaba kuza bulungi abazadde so mubimpi mubimpi mukadde wange mubimpi mpimpi mukadde wange tuteke teke abana bifo cyo kubateka teke exactly kati tujya kufuna issues zino go mwami oba kufuna omuchara oba kufuna omwami ngali bwacho to munenya nyoma ya background ye nawe vice versa nawe omuchara no mwami kati awe ishu ye nkuru tukuza abana oborunji wena bijja kuvawo samwe kuma kwa bakata barakallahu fikum wa alaykum salam the brief and straight to the point laila kat do you have the mic hello assalamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam wa alaykum salam thank you to my husband we masaka ah chizibu si we masaka okay eh ono we lukuli na ye nzenja gant communication matters mubufumbo wobera mm. nti kunyiga racha to chiguliro we balinga wobera na ye bawo ba muchala to chimugambi mm. ana chitega nti chikuluma niwe mtu ane muogera ebibaluma nze banga mwogola mbwa bana abera mu nyu nokusinganze mm. anga nti katero ko ye hanna okumpite nya taswa dimpita kule anga tunyi kufyo misunderstanding a a kuita ji ampita hani we hani yele linya ya ko mubisi gwe nyu chibe kubera wakane mwawo mutia Thank you very much for that uh, special uh, stay. A special thank you to you, Sheikh Keke, for your endless support as a husband and father. Sibia Agura, yeah, you get Zako big time. Our Animuku booking at Rocha Lero Muravi. Nkavu say, eh. Okay, let's go ahead. Beka Chi, you said, oh, this is the way to the Mukono, the Gufu, you did to get the Narongo Muravi, and booking the start the day, the Muravi Narongo, a Karago Waka Sudemua Katiao. Or good deco, which you would call it. Yamazedo booking. Beka Chi, please go. I would lie over a cat. I think Salam or Ahmadullah over a cat. Orudde wakunu na madenge na kubuzira na yalham. Nenda sebo dozo wadora yemi kono benda jiko benda mugo benda zimula ininga benda jike zimukadi. Ata ba chia raba ba deba ine ebi ocha mufu 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 wenda ukura ba mchia turu munga yuwa engage. Ah we taba tena zote munga mbanzo wenda mpuli ndawa dikeni na yesu. That's fine. Let's go ahead, please. Yes, yeah. Um, basically, what I'd like to say is that um. There's a couple of ladies that have been speaking and have literally mentioned that Ugandan men, you can't literally keep saying Ugandan men because not every Ugandan man acts that way. Because I have uh, an auntie who married someone from a different country and basically she pays for everything, for all the bills. She looks after the kids. She does the shopping. She literally does everything. And all this guy does is just chill. You know, she even pays his Sky Sports bill that he uses to watch Arsenal on, you know. So you can't just say that Ugandan men, all men are different, you know? And also I've got an uncle, he's Ugandan, but he does everything for his wife, you know? Every single thing he does it for his wife. Basically all she does is go to work and come back. Basically he does every single thing. So not all men are like that. And um, one thing we need to learn is, I think some of the issues also, some ladies, I won't say all of them, some of them, maybe some men, act the way they do due to the way they, they are treated at home. You know, maybe how you speak to your husband, how you treat your husband, you know? And I think one of the problem we have in our communities, we don't get a chance to go and sit down with someone and receive counseling, you know? Speak out, every, let everyone speak out their problems, you know? And that's something we need to have in our community. This program, yes, it's good. We're here, we're sharing our situations. People are sharing their views, but 
sometimes maybe what we need to do is find someone because literally within the community there is help there and i know people have referred actually two people to counselors that have been able to speak to them and help them kind of like better their relationships better their marriage you know so if you're going through such a situation or there's something wrong at home we have people in the community that can literally you can go to and speak to them be able to sit down with your husband share your issues you know let everyone air out their views you know so and no one will get to know about it one of the problems we have in our community is trust you know trust me if you are going through any issue with your family member you can call me i won't tell a single soul at all i will just refer you to this person that you will go to and you speak to and they will literally help you because i've been i've been able to refer people to this person and they've been able to go there and receive the help that they need one of the problem we have in our communities is we die in silence we die in silence. And then we keep saying, Baganda men, Ugandan men. No, 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 no. Sometimes we just need to go down and sit down and share our issues, you know, talk. That's one of that's the solution that we need to do. Just there's help out there. Let's have self-healing communities. You know, oh, yeah. we do have professionals within our community. Let's use them so that we can better our relationships. Let's not die in silence. That's oh, yeah. why thank, we thank you. Thank you very much, Becca Chinjian, for that huge beautiful contribution now i have a question that i is is a bit bothering me are there particular things that probably we, we do see the telltale signs of what might constitute a problem later on in a relationship but because we are in the in love phase of our relationship you ignore you sweep it under the carpet and it comes back to haunt you are there those particular things because there are particular things you you see the kind of person there there are certain awkwardness that uh, sort of reveal themselves just at the start of a relationship and you ignore these and then they become a problem later on in the relationship ending up with the situation that we have ended up with could it be that probably we could have stopped that at the very start is there any way you know some someone is referring to them as red flags sometimes you have those little things but then because you are so hotly in love you try to ignore and sort of push them under and as a result, later on, they come to haunt you very badly. I'll come to two more hands. I'll take to Farida uh, and Omar Aisha Sheikh. I can take these two, these three hands quickly. And then Isma, please, if you can be preparing our last uh, small video that will, will help us to be wrapping up. We have 15 minutes. We want to be able to integrate all of that into that one window. Ustad Zaid says, uh, Mimi, you shouldn't say that knowing how loving your dad is, but ultimately it's these absent fathers loss. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, when I, uh, no, I'll come to Farida who hasn't spoken. Farida, go ahead, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Nice to have you here. Alhamdulillah. First of all, I would like to thank you so much, uh, Brother Kaila, and I'm, I'm sure Sister Naima is a very happy woman. Mm, I uh, I would like to thank every man who is on the forum today. Uh, first of all, uh, I'll just make a few comments. Uh, uh, just an add-on. I'll add on to Mr. Mayanja who uh, recently spoke. I think uh, what he really meant to say into Akacha Mama Mela, catulated dogs who won't in marriages. Basinga, Baba Kuzabubi, and they thought they were superior to any right from the from the, the upbringing. Never they are going to go out there and find other kids, other people. Uh, other women, sorry, other kids from other uh, upbringings. Never bring up Runine because ye Yadimu Cham from the beginning, Yacham, Mameda, the Bebatagam Wako, Tom Gambako, Tomunia, Kakati, my daughter, uh, Laila Kadu, Navayu and Agamantin, no communication. Laila Kadu, if a man or a woman, Yacham, Gamunga, Charlie Mutonga, Kacha, Mameda, you can communicate a thousand times, but let me tell you what. They will never understand because they will never be part of it. They will never be part of the commun communication. Um, so, Kakati, that was an addition. Uh, natural anti. I don't know how, especially here in the US, from uh, Sawala to Yambako with the men, because I think of Bafunyo. Bafu. The US Bafu Denyo. Because you guys, at least you're, you're coming up, you're helping out. Yes. You're coming yeah. up. If I look at my son, Becca, Ayamba uh, Nyom, you, Kaira, uh, Zaid, so many, you guys are really working so hard. Mm -hmm. 
to help out these men in your community? Are you, are, are, are you saying are you saying on a program like this, looking at the numbers that we have today, you'll find very few U.S. men who would come for It's this. only the women. If you look around, it's the women. Yeah. It's the women. Yeah. The men are dead. Mm -hmm. Because they don't want to be told to. They don't want to be... They don't want to... Because, you know, they don't want to be told to. All right, Farida, thank you very much. I, I, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only leaving you just simply for time purposes so that we can allow more people to come in. This is a... Special thank you to the 1% of those men who are committed to their wives. We love you and respect you. You are extraordinary. That is Farida. And take it. 1% of Obaka Pimatia. Your Pimometa, Pimometa 1% is. Uh, uh, questions. Tabitha says thank you for the program. It's one of the best programs presented so far with good moderation. Mr. Kaira, best presenter. Mm -mm, I'm smiling. Thank you very much. My dad is within the 1%. Don't worry, he's amazing. And that's uh, me. Uh, let's go to Manaisha. Manaisha. Yes, please. But there, so you want to intercept. There's something please, I'm please come, please I, come. I thought about. In we, the men, have the, but, but, but following on the culture of what their fathers did. Mm. Now, yet yeah, as women, are we also being more complacent to the situation? So, is the women, are we also into the culture? Are we also part of the problem for these men not being there? Oh, because no, no, not, not talking, not 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 raising not the issues that are there. Expressing and communicating, yes. Well, well uh, Manaisha, Manaisha, you've just had. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum I'll just add into that, that short, exactly what the sister was. I was just about to say the same thing. Oh, Most okay. important thing is communication. Tuwa zeba seka kubanga binebiyo na bigenda kudida ba seka. In the Missomo Devat Beda Cons and Beba Zak Baba Sumisa Kati, Masha Allah, Umsaja Wabataina Imani, Yakole Ebin to Ebu, Umsaja Wabataina Dini, Kubanga, if you fear Allah, you can't do that to your wife, you can't do that to the mother of your kids. You know, but sisters, Jem Basava, please, Bobango in Echikuluma, talk. We, we, Twinaba Maseka. But sisters are more American, very sure. I'm going to say, Kayo, Mugere, I take a ticket, brother Kaira Chamber Dengendo Kusaba. There was a one of us together, Queta, Gaba Kapo, Zitubenga, Tugeda, Buryoma are opening up. But sisters in Balaba by Navy Baluma, let them open up when their uh, partners are on the forum or separate. They need counseling. Kubanga, this is a big, big, big topic. Absolutely. Please, brothers. Absolutely, but I think that's, probably, that, that, that's a call. That's a call to people participating. That if you're coming in, I'm yeah. I'm here. Nalongo is on here. It will yeah. be a conversation where I have to go back and tell her. Yeah, and happened. if they want so privacy, the time, but yes. taking a private gundinga muinzo kuba kansolinga nenga bambi. It's so sad to hear about nenga baka babwe bati, especially yes. our young sisters. Zendi ma mani na ba na ba wala. I wouldn't want that to happen to my daughters. Ate yeah. chidala mm. bana angetu nzekati njogera nga ma manga singa. You have an avalak at Tevacha Yagala from it as soon as you mentioned the word Muganda man, Yagamba, ah, 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 Auntie, that topic. In Umbuza, why Nagamba, Auntie? No, 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 no. I've grown up seeing my mom unhappy. My dad never does this. No, in Akugano, Abana Balimu community, Bagala from Bidwa. Do I mean Tunga? We know. Never to learn about Auntie's Bab when about the Davis will be back over. They don't. Gamba, ah, ah, if it's a Muganda, anybody from Africa, I don't want. Why is that? The problem is in our community, is in our families, is, is within ourselves. So we have to work hard on that. Barakallahu fikum. Thank you very much, Manaisha. Na usikumwema kabisa wendele kufatilia 75W Radio. Live na kipindi hapa kam talk with me, Kasim Kaira. Shea Kamri kia sebo, mkwade, yunayenda chika sebo, bidi, kwezi, tikuwanga tuliku dachika, kumi ya disemba yu. 
mbadde kusaba sebo keeping gabu waze mukusoka no jango yo changa chimpi alhamdulillah barakallahu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ah bismillah e the song game kubu yeyo na maisha ya yo gedeko kubanga tuli no buzibo tuli bazadde tuzadde abana abawala kayira tuzadde abana abawala Boyinzo okubanga kyokugira ko tukirimbe <laughs> kobe uwo wasinga yo balenzi na ye tulinaba tulinaba <clears throat> na abawala bogendo okunulira percentage ya abana abawala buli nyumba jo yingiramu elimu abana abawala abataka wansi wabata atenga bakula ku speed na hitu ino buzibunti buli bogambo omwana omwalo okufundirwa bogambo kimi abasajja abasajja be wafe bayine empisembi no mubuza empisambi kize balina natandiko kumenyera we no juze ekisero kye bigambo byayogedde naye nga tolina asa sukena mukolachi nyogena <laughs> kumuwa zogenda kumuwa mm. banange we dey yo to 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 get to perongose tutandiko kulongosa community ya fe abana ba fe basokoro kumbe tu Nenda ne mwami chuan kachi ya yuko tewe ya bate mwami chuan kwa mwa ya bate na yanga na yanga owe owe Bolton owe Bolton Boston owe Boston yagi ame nti purongosa kuzawa na burundi watu na kuzawa na burundi ba ya kuwe iranti ba kure chitu fiti bate koko dachi kaira umana wangu mwala anyangu yirogamanti nde mufumbi zewa kaira. Ochitegea, kwa mani kaira nkuzati ya kuzi, naronga kuzizaba na kuzizati, kaira bade bize nga mwredi, na hii naronga habana wa kuzizati. Yes, abada mwiyamba ko, na hii naronga habana nkuzati ya wa kuzizati, yes, so uro kumuwa mwana wangu wa mwase. Ochitegea, na hii nga ate mwini mwama kagwe sobura gamba kubura ya kuno, njia kuwa yu mwana wangu wa kurechi. Fumbigwe yu, wachi, njia. Ene isa jora ba mukuru be isa mu atoli no mungamba no mungambi la kumana kwe no fuke chizibo wa yugeti de kum o o o amuere te dama uli de kaira kundi ne ne isa jee isa mo se ya morembe ate kwe no fuke chizibo abana bine ba kuchawa ne ye ni ni na kuchawa wukwa wa yugeti de kuchi sasa wa that's the big problem de kuli nam mukomite ya fu na butu na jirongo sa Ebyo byokuwoza anti bajja kufumbiwa abazungu bagende bajja mayika bagende banajeria bijja koma kubanga nayo impisa sometimes nazonja kufuza nazo zigana na barakallahu fikum barakallahu fikum sheikh nkweso nyewe bweso nyirwa wakadde abdul karim mugabi you are one of those people that started the conversation please you have one minute uh, and because you have six minutes remaining and i've got a little video to play that i would want to get us out and then i'll come yes. to data change keep it short and sweet please in a nutshell mm -hmm. we should all apply the law of wastage effort let everyone go and research about it you know internal friction in families Brilliant. Thank you. Fikum. <laughs> Thank you very much. Becca Chinji, I hope you can keep it as short as well. It will be very fantastic. Yes, I'm going to keep it as short because there's something I forgot to mention there. No. So one of the mistakes that our dear sisters do is they cast their husbands when there is, there is the counseling they receive. They receive it from their children, which leads to actually young ladies from Uganda resenting Ugandan men because whatever issues they get they speak to their daughters or their children about them and then kids resent their um, fathers and to the point that fathers end up not caring which is not fair but that's what happens so but mama whatever issues you have please do not go to your children because they resent their own ugandan men you know so please receive counseling from the right people don't go to your children for counseling that's what I wanted to say. I forgot to say earlier. Barakallahu fikum. Yes, uh, Stad Zaid here says, Ugandan men are so soft, you just have to understand them. Actually, find the sports, uh, soft sports, and you will enjoy a Ugandan man. I really feel so bad when I hear that Ugandan men, actually, if anything, a, a Ugandan man was one that was really considered to be 
very caring. I'm surprised that we've ended up being who we have ended up becoming. I hope we can change that. You just need to find the right code. Touch that code. If you know, we can be man. It's my if we can have that video, please, and then we'll wrap up. We'll just get the final words from our people today. Thank you very much for being who you have been today. Very fantastic. Someone did mention about the impact of these children who have not had dads around in their lives or single parenthood. Let's just watch a little bit of this and then we'll just wrap it up, inshallah. Before starting this video, we just want to thank you for supporting our channel. It truly means a lot to know what a wonderful community we've built together. Without further ado, let's get to today's topic on the effects of growing up with a single parent. Although having two parents in the picture is definitely beneficial for kids growing up, it's not always the case. There are many children today who are going through life with just a single parent, and when they reach adulthood, many of them become highly successful, happy individuals. Both negative and positive psychological effects of having a single parent have been studied extensively. Interestingly, many new studies suggest that divorce in particular might not necessarily be the root cause of psychological issues, despite previous schools of thought. Instead, these issues might simply be the result of traumatic memories in general. Let's check out seven effects of growing up with a single parent. Boys tend to be more idle in young adulthood. Sometimes, specific genders seem to react in different ways to growing up with a single parent. In terms of boys, some studies have suggested that they're more likely to be idle in young adulthood. This includes things like being unproductive and even dropping out of school. While boys are more likely to experience this, it can definitely happen with girls as well. Girls are at a higher risk for teen pregnancy. Multiple surveys and studies have shown a link between single-parent homes and teen pregnancy. While unplanned pregnancies aren't always a bad thing, teen pregnancies in particular can involve certain issues and complications, such as lack of financial opportunities and access to higher education. Some have theorized that this correlation is due to the lack of a male figure in the household, which can have negative psychological effects on a young girl. Single-parent families can actually be more beneficial in some cases. With more and more children growing up in single-parent households, more research is being done on not only the negative effects, but also the positive ones. Some studies have pointed out that in some cases, a single-family household can actually be more beneficial. The main example would be an extremely stressful two-parent home versus a peaceful, relaxed single-parent home. When there is extreme conflict, violence, or stress in a two-parent home, a single-parent home is actually a much more beneficial environment for the child. That's definitely something worth keeping in mind as we list some of the negative effects here. Kids with a single parent might end up having a stronger relationship with that parent. There's always a very special bond that forms between children and their parents. But one study suggests that in a single-parent home, that relationship could potentially be even stronger and unique in a way that is unseen in two-parent homes. Not only is the relationship often stronger in this situation, but the children and parents are more dependent on each other, more affectionate, and more likely to work together towards a common goal. Before we continue to the next point, we want to share with you a recommended video from BetterHelp. Hesu talks about seven ways to overcome emotional neglect. If you find yourself to be somebody who suffered from emotional neglect, you may want to check it out after this video. Kids with single parents might end up being less satisfied in life. In a slightly alarming study, research was done on tens of thousands of individuals to test their overall feeling of satisfaction in life. The study found a small but persistent decrease in life satisfaction among those who had grown up with a single mother throughout childhood. They found that these individuals were less likely to experience educational and economic success and good physical health. Additionally, they found a connection between single mother childhoods and unmet relationship goals. But remember, there was only a small decrease in life satisfaction when compared to those with two parents. There could be an increased risk of psychiatric issues. There's a huge wealth of scientific literature which states that single-parent homes are a risk factor for a number of mental health issues in children, 
including depression and psychological distress. Once again, we're not saying this happens to all children in these situations, but there's definitely a link. Also, we have to mention that the trauma of potentially negative memories might be the root cause, not necessarily single-parent homes specifically. All right, Isma, thank you very much. I think we'll just hold it there, just simply because of uh, time. Lots of your comments, very fantastic show. Thank you very, very much for everybody who has kept it, uh, 75W Radio. Uh, from Facebook, Rosland Tiwanuka says, this is brilliant, great topic. Thank you for tabling it. And Rabi, Il, Rabi Ibn Musa, Raki Ibn Musa in the United Arab Emirates, too late at this time, but I've just been hooked on and watching. Edith and Tabs, I can see you. Kennedy Brasher says, uh, hello, brother. And Joseph Mary Morgan says, Kasim, we shouldn't embrace just everything in this adopted culture. Our grandparents never went to hospitals, but loved in their own way. Reason their marriages lasted longer until today. Been happily married for 27 years now, but each of us does what he is best at home. That is uh, Joseph Mary Mwonge. Kennedy Brasher says we were never meant to stay. Studies have shown the fact that we chose to, we must bear the price. It's not much about what we do, or what we don't do. When love runs low, a handsome man will inevitably look ugly and the reverse is true. If this is understood from the start, life becomes absolutely soft. Shekeke, you are a fantastic presenter. Please keep scratching your head for more of these interesting programs. I can only thank you so much for keeping it 75W Radio and on Umba Connected via Zoom and YouTube. Thank you very much for making it a very interesting night, alhamdulillah. Until next week, inshallah. Next week, we are coming up with another very interesting topic. Do not miss for any reason. And that is, after going through everything that we have seen, everything that we have listened to, part of what might actually break that ice is taking your wife on a night out. That date, that night date, what should it be like? I'd like to hear from you how you would want it. Because a lot of times we get experts who will come and tell you how to prepare for that date. It might be even a date with the children. And that's part of breaking the stresses of the lives that we are living today. I'd like next week, inshallah, for us to think about that very date. It is Islamic. It is part of what would spice up your relationship. It is what might break some of the barriers and the stresses that we are going through. It doesn't have to be every day. Let it be as regular as you can do it. But whenever it happens, it should be special. But everyone is different. Every home is different. I'd like to hear how you'd like your debt to be. That is Tuesday next week, inshallah. Do not forget Bridging the Gap tomorrow, uh, still on 75W Radio with Becca Chiinji. Uh, and uh, we shall have uh, 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 Sheikh Inkata, as usual, with Riyadu Salihin earlier in the day and then in the evening, we can have uh, bridging the gap. We are hoping to get our chronicles rolling. We had Haruna Kanavi. Those who missed can still catch up on uh, the YouTube channel. On Thursday, Islamic education or Muslim education in Uganda. And that will be uh, again on Umma Connected. On Friday, we cross to the UMC. Uh, on Friday with the Quran recitation, as well as Saturday for several khutbas. Sunday, as usual, on UMC is Sheikh Seka Day, followed by Imam Abu Najiba. And then that's our week done. Thank you very much for keeping it Dabi Radio. I'm Kasim Kaira, and come, let's talk with me on this very platform. Thank you very much for being a part of it. I can only say I wish you a very good night, and I hope, inshallah, that we'll meet again next week for the same program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa